Hey, it's Jolly Accurator. Hope you're doing well. And today we're going to be playing some more Minecraft Dungeons. And today I'm going to be talking about 15 things that you may not know. This is kind of just my opinion type stuff, like things that I won't have really known about or whatever. So don't take any of it to the heart, but it might still be stuff that you don't know about. Get in onto the things that you may not know about. Okay, number one. Pretty simple. Uh, most people probably know this, but in case you don't, Shadow Brew makes you invisible to all mobs, they can't see you, and it does more damage when you knock someone, like, when you come out of it, and I believe it might octuple your damage, don't quote me on that, I'm not sure, but when I was doing a certain challenge, I didn't use any weapons, and I used Shadow Brew, and if you don't have any weapons equipped, you can still punch, you do one damage, but when I used Shadow Brew, I did eight, so maybe it does octuple the damage, I'm not sure, but if it does, that's pretty cool. Okay, number two, Scatter Crossbow might be the most overpowered crossbow, um, especially if you get the right enchantments on it, because it shoots ba uh, base, it shoots five arrows, it will shoot five arrows, and then if you get the right enchantments, like multi-shot, It'll shoot five more arrows, or well, it has a chance, but it's a pretty high chance. So if you have three multi shots, in theory, you could be shooting 20 arrows, and that does work with fire work arrows like this. It'll shoot that many arrows, so it's pretty insane if you have that. So in my opinion, it's probably one of the most overpowered bows in this game. Number three is lightning rod is one of the most like high power level, like most damage doing weapons in the game. Um, this is not even very high power level, oh, I'm dying. Uh, this isn't even a very high power level lightning rod. Uh, it's only 158 and it's still doing 1,000, like over 1,000 damage. So watch, there we go. Yeah, so 1,000 damage. Uh, I think I've seen ones that can do like up to two or 200,000, so that's pretty insane. Okay, number four is probably the most overpowered enchantments is Lucky Explorer and Death Barter. You may not know these exist because you just haven't been able to get them or maybe you don't have the new expansion, but Lucky Explorer, it gives you a chance to, for every block you walk on, you can get up to five emeralds and Death Barter for every 50 emeralds, uh, it'll save you from death. Also, there's gear called Emerald uh, Armor or something and it has the same effect as Lucky Explorer. So if you could get that with like Lucky Explorer twice in Death Barter, that would probably be the most over and overpowered enchantment combo that you could get in this game. Number five is Apocalypse uh, plus 20 is way harder than you think, especially if you get bad RNG. Uh, this clip is where I was trying to do the Obsidian Pinnacle on Apocalypse plus 20. I got super bad RNG right off the bat, and I died three times, basically right as I spawned. Okay, number six is Death Cat Mushroom. It's probably one of the best uh, artifacts. It makes it so you attack faster and move faster. So just look how fast I'm attacking. This is on Apocalypse Plus 19 as well. So it's just super insane, especially if you have Radiance and Critical Hit. That'll be even better. So it's probably just one of the more insane uh, artifacts. Okay, number seven is that zombies can actually fly. You may not know this. Look, he's just chilling. He's just flying over here. And yeah, no, no, I'm just kidding. It, it's just a glitch. I can just punch him and he'll die. Um, actually, number seven is gauntlets. Gauntlets are awful. I don't know who added them. Same with whips. They just suck. Like, look at, look at that. They do, like, no damage. But let, let's try this again one more time. Um, I'm doing 4,000 damage. It's like, why use gauntlets when you could use daggers? They're just so much better. Um, yeah, I don't like gauntlets, basically, is the moral of the story. Okay, number eight is that they actually release special items during, uh, like, Halloween time, Christmas time. So these are the Halloween items, and these are the Christmas items. I didn't get all the Christmas items, unfortunately. But they actually will do special items for, like, special occasions. As you can see on the sword, it says special event item. So that's pretty cool. You just have to do some challenges to get them. And they look pretty sick. They're just pretty basic, though. They don't do anything special. Just look awesome. Okay, number eight. Another thing that you may not know is that merchant stands will actually grow. As you get these, like, as you unlock more slots, their stations will actually grow. So, like, I only need 60 more, 
and like when you slowly unlock them they'll actually get bigger so they'll start off small and then like once you get more they'll actually get bigger over time so like this one this guy just used to have a little hut and then since i've unlocked more they've gotten a lot bigger same with this guy and this guy over here Okay, number 9 is this guy's one of the best guys for getting loot. You may not think it would be that good because it's random gear, but since it's guaranteed 162 to 169, it's really good. I don't really need it because I'm already really high power level, but I would recommend using this guy if you're trying to level up because like if you it's pretty cheap get pretty lucky. Like I got 167. That's as high as my like highest power level bow right now. So that's a really good way to level up quick. Number nine is that you actually get pets when you buy expansions. So for the jungle, you get a parrot. For the uh, snow one, you get an arctic fox. And for howling peaks, you get a baby goat. So it's just an extra fun thing that you can get when you buy the expansion. And I really like them. Okay, number 10 is this ruin in the chapel. I'm not going to go over there. I'm going to warn you first. I've already gotten all the ruins. So if you don't want to see what it looks like, maybe if you don't have all the runes yet or whatever, I'm, so I'm just warning you just in case you don't want to see what the, happens when you get all the runes. But what happens when you get all the runes is this portal opens up. There'll be two chests, like those blue creeper ones, and a scroll that'll unlock a secret level. The level is just question marks, and then it has a bunch of mushrooms on it. Okay, number 12 is... I can't really show you since I've already gotten all the runes. But if you go to the back of this painting and like press A... On it, a certain, like, ruin will light up and it'll show you kind of, like, what level it is, like, on the painting. It's it's hard to explain, you just have to trust me on it and you'll kind of figure it out. Also, the ruins are in order, so, like, the first one is the first level Creeper Woods and so on and so forth. So, yeah, that should hopefully help you if you need that. Okay, number 13 that you may not know is that some levels are actually skippable, like this one. You just have, this one's actually pretty hard to skip, you just have to get it right. But if you can't get it right, then you can just skip it, you can solve the puzzle, and you can be on your way. And as long as you solve both the puzzles, then the doors will come down. You don't have to kill any of the enemies. Okay, this level's also skippable. These are the only two levels that are skippable. This one's a little bit easier. You just have to go from that corner to, like, the bridge. And as you can see, you just have to do the puzzles, and the doors will come down. You can travel, and you can come get your loot. Okay, number 15 is if enchanted guys respawn, they will not respawn with enchantments. So let's see if we can get one to respawn here. Okay, one of these guys will be sure to respawn. Okay, yeah, see that skeleton back there? He respawned, but without any enchantments. Okay, as like a bonus to 15, because that was kind of lame one to end on. This is what the final mystery merchant's hut looks like. Once you complete all of them, you have six slots open, and this place just looks insane. He has like a two layer type thing. Uh, it looks like he has a soul in a cage, which is pretty cool. He has a mushroom. It looks like from the nether, actually. It's kind of blue looking. And yeah, look, this is huge. Like, I can actually get on top of it. So yeah, that was 15 things that you may not know about Minecraft Dungeons. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was kind of just my opinion on things that like I don't really know or I wouldn't have known stuff. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new, please subscribe. If you like, then like the video. And remember to stay jolly.